In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can put together your own dust extract system. It's a very efficient system and very inexpensive and something which is really suitable for a home DIYer. So let me talk you through it. What I'm using is a basically a domestic vacuum cleaner. Like most vacuum cleaners, this particular model has a filter to protect the motor and then also in addition to that it would normally have a vacuum bag which would be inside obviously this one's quite full as you can see and this was what would collect all the dust obviously the carrying capacity of this is limited and as soon as it gets a lot of dust in there the vacuum as well is restricted severely so the loss of suction is quite considerable so I did a lot of research online and I've looked at the best systems, inexpensive, it's a home workshop, I don't want to spend a lot of money. So what I've purchased is this Cyclone and what I want to do is just run through this and just demonstrate exactly how it works and how you can set one up yourself. Basically the principle is that the vacuum is connected to the top of the Cyclone and this is sucking air out of the top of the Cyclone. Another hose is connected to the inlet here which would then be collected to your tool or you can use it just to sweep up the floor. The dust enters the cyclone here and then it's spun round by centrifugal force and sticks to the side of the cyclone. And then gravity, it just drops out of the cyclone and into your collection bucket. And nothing actually makes it out of this hose at the top here and into your vacuum. It works super efficiently. There's no bags involved. There's no loss of suction from your vacuum cleaner. So, you know, you, you've got constant suction at all times and the system works really well. So let me hook it up and I'll do a little demonstration and I'll show you how it works. All right, initially, before we run through the demonstration, I just want to talk about cost. I purchased this Cyclone off eBay and it was a couple of pennies short of 14 pounds. So it's really about the same price that I would pay for a packet of vacuum bags for this particular Hoover. So I'm never going to need to buy any more bags for this Hoover. So this Cyclone is going to pay for itself in absolutely no time at all. I've got the hose connected now to the top of the Cyclone. What I've got here is just a, a domestic plumbing fitting. It's a compression adapter. This is a two inch outlet. This is a two inch reducer and this is a compression fit in which actually fits my hose perfectly. So it's quite a nice little snug fit on here. I put a little bit of duct tape around it just to make it a nice tight fit. And then on the inlet, this is a piece of pool hose, two inch pool hose. I think you can also buy it as duct extract hose. Again, I've got this very inexpensively off of eBay and these are just little wire Jubilee clips just to hold it onto the inlet. So, the whole system very very cheap so the hoover now i've taken the bag out of the hoover the hoover is completely empty and clean as you can see so we'll put that back together and we'll turn it on and see how it works i put a light just behind the cyclone here so hopefully when we're doing a demonstration you can see how it works and you can see the dust spinning around by centrifugal force and dropping into the bucket and then once we've hoovered up this little pile of sawdust I've got here, we'll open everything up and see how well it performed. Let's switch on. So here you can see the dust spinning around in the cyclone, eventually making its way down into the bucket. And then we have it, we've hoovered up all that pile of dust. Everything's fallen now into the bucket. So let's open up the hoover and see how well it did.
and there we have it it's completely empty there's maybe one or two grains in there but nothing i'm going to worry about everything is definitely going to be in the bucket so let's open that up and just check to make sure And there we have it, everything in the bucket. What a brilliant system, very cheap and super efficient. So we've just seen how well the dust extract system works. So in order to connect it to all the machines in the shop, what we've used is some two inch PVC hose and fittings. They're just ordinary waste fittings purchased from the local plumbing merchants. I've got the inlet to the cyclone connected to this rising pipe here and then we've got a header which runs across the top of the workshop. I've got 45 degree T's branching off at high level and then these then drop down to the blast gates. We made these blast gates ourselves, there's another video online, I'll put a link in the description to the video of how we made these blast gates. There's also a set of free plans on that particular video where you can build your own. They're only made from six mil MDF, again, very cheaply. And then the outlet of these blast gates is then connected to each of the machines in the shop. And then they simply open the gate when you want to use the machine and shut the gate when it's not in use. And then the system extends all the way along the workshop to another couple of tools at the end. One thing we've found with this system is it generates a lot of suction and we'll try and demonstrate this. I'm going to turn the system on and then we're going to close the blast gates and when we close the last blast gate obviously there'll be nowhere for the air to come from and you'll see what happens to the bucket. It's, I don't advise you doing this, it's just purely a bit of fun. We're just going to show you how much suction this little system can generate. All right, here we go. <laughs> well that was pretty violent uh, we've only done this as a bit of fun really just to demonstrate how much suction this little system can produce obviously during normal operation two or three of the blast gates would always be open so there'd be no risk of the bucket absolute uh, you know collapsing like it just did um you know we just done this as a demonstration purposes uh, we've got plans obviously to upgrade this bucket so we're not disappointed that we've lost this one um we've got a future video coming up so please subscribe and we're going to be showing you how we're going to build a much better collection system it's going to be a clear bucket so we've, we can have a, we can actually see the contents inside the bucket we know when it needs emptying um, and we're going to make a a wooden lid for the bucket which will be a lot more rigid and secure to actually mount the cyclone onto so please subscribe to our videos i hope you enjoyed watching this particular demonstration and look forward to catching you in the next one cheers